Hello and welcome to the sixth video in the DB Wrapper series. My name is Curtis and this is Free Skills. Let's jump right in. So in our DB class, what we're going to do is create a new public function called update. Um, it's going to be very, very similar to our insert method, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Let's get going. Uh, we could actually refactor this and not have to rewrite code, but who cares? I'm not going to. You can do that on your own project. It'll be good practice. Um, this is actually going to take three parameters instead of two. The first, we'll keep it consistent, make the first uh, parameter the table. We will make the second parameter the ID of the row that you're updating, and then we will pass in fields. Set that equal to an empty array. All right, so in this one, what we want to do is actually make our, um, we want to make our SQL statement look something like this. So let's just refresh our memories on what an update function looks like. Is update uh, and then table so update contacts okay and then we say set and then we do um, like something like f name is equal to uh, Kurt and then the key part is if we run it like this it will update every single one of our rows so we need to give it a condition and what we're going to do is say where ID is equal to uh, one, 2, something like that. So that is going to be our SQL statement, so let's make that happen from our parameters. So the first thing that we're going to do is replace contacts here with our tables, same as we did in the last method, so update table. Um, and then we're going to actually build this out here. So it's a little bit different. Let's go ahead and set up our variables that we're going to need there. So we have, um, we'll just call it the same thing, field string set that equal dang it my cursor moved again set that equal to a blank string an empty string and we'll go ahead and set up a value so that we can bind this so that is going to be an empty array so let's loop through our fields so for each um, fields as field value okay and what we're going to do is field string should look like this concatenate on um, first of all we're going to concatenate on a blank uh, space at the beginning just so if it's the second field we have a space there so field and then concatenate on and space equals space question mark, comma. Okay, um, what that's going to do is build up for each field, it'll be space field equals question mark. And that is so that we can bind the value. So let's go ahead and add to our values array. And that is going to be equal to value. That's it for our loop. I mean, that's super, super simple. Um, however, um, we're going to have at the very beginning of this, we're going to have an empty or uh, just a blank uh, space at the very beginning, and then we're going to have a uh, comma at the end. So let's go ahead and clean that up, and then maybe a more elegant way to do this, but this is how I'm going to do it. Field string is equal to uh, trim, and we're going to trim field string and set it back equal to itself. And then the next line will say field string oops right trim. And we're going to trim off that comma. Okay. So um, next thing uh, let's go ahead and var dump field string to make sure it looks correct here. So var dump well, you know what, let's just go ahead and finish this SQL statement, and then we'll just see what that looks like. So, this SQL statement, the other thing that we can go ahead and replace, we already know, is the ID is just being passed in there like that. And then right here, we can replace all of this with our field string. So, let's go ahead and var dump. SQL, um, 
and var dump values. Oops, and that is actually. And we'll kill the page just for fun. So how are we going to use this? Let's go back here. Let's get rid of. Um, let's get rid of this. Well, let's just change the name of this to fields. And let's see what the update. So this gets another parameter here, and uh, let's see what's my database. Let's change 15. So our we're just passing an integer of 15 there. <clears throat> and I actually don't want to. I don't want to pass all of this. Let's just change the first and last name. Actually, um, let's change the first name and the email. Okay, so first name, we're going to set that equal to Kurt, and Kurt, all right. This is how we want it to look. This isn't going to work yet, but let's refresh, and we can see that our, our SQL is update context set first name equal to question mark, comma, email equal to question mark. We don't have that extra space or the extra comma, so the trim is working correctly, where ID equals 15, so that is valid. Uh, that is valid SQL syntax that will work um, and then we have our array here of uh, bound parameters Kurt being the first and Kurt at sharplasers.com being the second so to make this actually update the database all we have to do is get rid of our bar dumps and we again we'll go ahead and put this in an if statement and return false if this fails and in here, we're going to say this query. And we're going to pass an SQL and values. So then what we're going to do is, re if that works, we're going to return true. So now if I refresh the page and go here and refresh my database, uh, first name has been updated to Kurt. Uh, email has been updated to Kurt at Shark Lasers, where ID is equal to 15. It did not update anything else. So, uh, yeah, that's that's our update function. Again, let's take a look at that really quickly on how you use it. So your update fields, you build an array, and then you do db update, pass it the table name, the ID of the row that you're trying to or the entry in the database that you're updating, and then the fields, it could be one, it could be all of them, uh, but it will update those records for you, and those values are bound again, um, because and because we're using PDO, and we're using our query method that we previously wrote, and we're passing those values in like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.